At first glance, the center looks like a typical place troubled youth go. But once you get a good look around, you notice a creative environment. One for learning, expressing feelings, and a more residential dorm atmosphere. When they go to court, uh, the judge says, okay, uh, you're being termed to the program out there. And so um, they have to work through the program out here uh, in order to phase up. You take that, you take that uh, shroud off of them that, you know, that they've, they've done something wrong and you just look at them as a kid. Um, there are some really neat kids. They're bright. We base our program on a couple of different concepts. The first one is individual responsibility. Uh, we believe in teaching young people responsibility. Our program is an earn versus non-earn. We use a token economy. Giving the kids an opportunity to earn privileges like candy, wearing normal clothes to staying up late. And the school environment is close to a normal school setting. In the school, um, we are helping them think. We're, help, we're teaching them uh, the things that um, we think that they need to know and um, we're helping them learn how to think and, and how to utilize their their educational skills so that they can take that and they can apply it uh, hopefully to their program. The teachers also help by keeping a positive attitude. To me, it helps me stay positive and I feel like these kids need positiveness and I always put quotes up that are inspirational to me or to literature in a sense. Once the students go through the program and petition to be released, Neely says they're able to make an easy transition back into a normal school setting. Lindsay Steiner, Pro News 7.